Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lovette and today we'll be discussing about a great opportunity that has been provided by Sweden for international job seekers as well as people who intend to start their own business in Sweden. Sweden has made it so that you can now apply from abroad for a job seekers or business starters residence permit. In this permit, you can be able to come over to Sweden and look for a job within the duration that your permit has been granted. So let's get into today's video and I am so excited about this news. Sweden is a great country and let's talk about the details. So first of all, let's talk about this permit. What is it about? Like I said earlier, it is a residence permit for job seekers. So it is specifically for you to come and look for a job in Sweden within the period that the permit is valid or come to start your business within the period that your permit is valid. What are the requirements? How do I get this permit if you're looking for one? First of all, you have to have completed a higher education qualification. This means you have to have a master's degree program completed or you have a PhD completed. Secondly, you have to have a plan. Yes, a plan on how to get these jobs that you're coming to seek for or a plan for your business. Then you have to have a proof of financial support within the duration you're going to be in Sweden. This permit is usually granted within the period of three months to nine months. So depending on how, the duration of your application if, if that you're intending to apply, it's going to be like ranging from three months, four months, nine months and all that. So, but Swedish uh, immigration has made it clear that for you to prove your financial means of support, that you have to have at least 13,000 Swedish Corona in one month. So if you're applying for a duration of three months, you are going to time start by three, which will be like 39,000 Swedish Corona right yes the fourth requirement is health insurance it is so that you have to have a valid health insurance that is acceptable within the period that you're going to be in sweden so if you're being up if you're applying for a three months uh, permit you should have at least a three months valid uh, health insurance certificate and the last but not the least is that you must live outside of sweden so this opportunity is specifically made for you that is not in sweden yes that's like if you're in sweden it's a no for you the application for this uh permit is done in two ways one is the online application the e-service application and secondly is the paper application if you're doing the online application which is i always urge you guys to do because it's faster you have to have every of your documents in soft copy you have to have it scanned properly and saved so that you can attach them online when making this application the application link is also in the link that i'm going to share in the description of this video then if you're making a paper application you have to like physically go to a swedish embassy or in your country or the country near you to submit this application it is required that all documents should be in swedish or english language if you are from a country that doesn't speak any of these languages and your documents are in a different language you have to have it officially translated and when submitting the application you have to have both the translated version of your documents as well as the original document in its original language these are required in the website also there is a link to a consent form a consent letter you are going to submit all your uh, educational attainments your certificate your transcripts of record and the uh, swedish uh, higher educational board will evaluate these documents and examine that they are legit how do they do that they are able to place contact to your schools where you graduated from and confirm that these documents are legit and official so for them to do that they need a consent from you and they have already made a consent letter form in the website where you can download it and fill in or you can just write an open consent for them to be able to verify your documents from your university where you graduated this is very important and it should be included in the documents that you submit on the application, whether online or on paper. What happens when you get a positive decision that you have been granted this 
president's permit what you do is that you contact immediately the consulate or embassy of sweden that is close to you or in your home country for you to get a visa if for instance you are coming from a country where you need a visa so that is one thing that you have to get if you get a positive decision for this and then if you're from a country that doesn't require a visa that is visa free when it comes to coming to sweden then all you need is just to pick your permit which has been granted to you and then come straight over to sweden to search for job or at least uh, start your business note also that while you are in sweden doing this job search you can't work so your financial support the money that you are having in your account is your means of livelihood is the means of you surviving those durations that you're going to stay there so just have it in mind that it is not a permit for you to work it is a permit for you to search for work once you get a job in sweden you will then right there in, and then in sweden apply for these uh, uh work permits from sweden and then you can start to work so these should be clear enough and then for your family member during the time that you have that uh job seekers permit you cannot come with your family unfortunately but the minute you find a job and applies for your work permit in sweden then you are qualified for your families to join you so guys that's it for today's video i hope this helps you and all of you who have worked so hard to get this certificate to get this uh, level of education i know how important it is and i say congratulations to you guys and i'm happy for you that finally these attainments are coming to use that the world is recognizing your educational effort and all that you have attained to be able to accommodate you other places in the world I am glad for you. So guys, try these applications and tell me about it in the comment section later or whatever. Thank you again for watching. If you haven't seen any of my videos and you just stumbled across this one, <laughs> you are missing out on a very high level. Honestly, just go to my channel straight away. I am watching you right now. Click that, subscribe, watch tons of my videos that has tons of information for you. You just can't be left out <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys and see you guys in my next video bye